How do you lot? It's me again. Um, time for the next uh, video in my quick airbrush effects series, um, where you've been telling me what you want me to show you. Um, so in this one, let's uh, let's tackle another one that you've asked for, shall we? <laughs> Bubbles, um, I mean, interesting angle this one because you've got to keep what you're painting flat. So, let's see if you can see this. Let's try getting some more height on here, shall we? Tell you what, I'll get the phone. Okay, so bubbles, um, forgive the funny camera angle, but you know, you need to leave it flat on the table, so uh, I need to do that with the camera. Uh, just got another bit of dye bond here. Uh, I've sprayed it with some gold paint, let that dry. Um, and bubbles is really, really easy. All you need to do is spray this with some water. I've got one of these body shop spray bottles, but uh, you know, you can flip the water on with your hand or you know, toothbrush or whatever, and stick your fingers in the water and flick it on, you know. Anyway, you can get the water onto the surface. And you just want to create some nice bubbles. Get some nice droplets on there. Like that. Obviously the more water you add, the bigger the droplets become. Uh, once you've done that, um, you need some solvent paint. Uh, water based will not work for bubbles. Because um, of course, that's water. You spray water based paint onto it, they'll mix. You need the paint to sit on top of these droplets. Uh, so for that, you need something that won't mix together, so solvent will just sit on the top of that. I don't often use solvents, I'm a, I'm a water based kind of guy, but for, uh, for this, I'm going to use some Inspire solvent paints from uh, SpecialistPaints.com. Uh, they've just released an airbrushing um, brand. Got loads here, candy green. Uh, what else we got? Candy Fools Gold. Um, and uh, I really like them. I think they're really cool paints. But anyway, for this, um, I'm going to need a white. Like that. And I'm also going to need a darker colour. Now, some people use black uh, for the shadows, but. Uh, on this gold, I think black would look kind of nasty. So, ideally, I want like a golden yellow, or or something like that. You know, like a dark yellow, maybe even a red. Yeah, red look might look good. Let's give it a try, shall we? Let's try it with some red. Right, so your light source is going to be coming from one direction and of course your shadows need to go in the opposite direction to that. So decide what way you're going to do it. I think I'll do them diagonally rather than straight on. So load up some white in my trusty Badger Patriot. Badger very kindly sent me a load of airbrushes to try out recently and uh, they're really good. I, uh, I like them a lot. Don't forget if you're using solvent paints, they stink. So, nice ventilated area. And all that. Like so. I need a tiny amount because you're going to be doing some very light dusting with it. So, decide which angle your light source is going to be coming from. I'm going to go from here. And then, very gently, because of course this is your airbrush kicks out air. You don't want to disturb the droplets of water. The force of the air could disturb the droplets of water. So from a, a long distance away, I mean you can't see it on the camera, but my airbrush is quite far away. And from a very low angle, don't do it from like up here. You need to be like only ever so slightly raised so that the white paint only hits one side of the water droplet. In fact, let's zoom out a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Hello. Right. 
You see, even at that pressure, that's disturbing the bubbles. So, you need to be careful. And if you look closely, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but if you look really closely, you can, if my camera will focus, yeah, it won't focus any further, but you might be able to see the, the white on one side of the droplet, it kind of just collects there. So next up, some red, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but you get the idea, you need a light colour, so the white for the highlights, and you need a shadow colour. So of course doing droplets on black won't necessarily work because you can't paint black shadows on black, you won't be able to see it, although you can just do the white highlight and try and get away with it. Um, but you take your base colour and you need to add a shadow, so if it's green go for a dark green rather than black, or you know, if it's yellow go for a red, something like that, you know. You know what I'm talking about? I hope so. Anyway. Okay, so there's some red in my airbrush. Let's zoom out again. So now I need to turn this around very carefully without disturbing the water droplets. Okay, so my light source is now that way. That's the angle I sprayed the white from, so these, this red is going up from that angle. So let's do that. See if we can show that. You might be able to see it. There you go. You can s Come on, camera. There we go. You see that? Now the fun bit. Hi. You've now got to let that sit there while all that water evaporates. <laughs> Which, as you can imagine, may take a while. Um, I mean, you can you can apply some heat if you want um, to to speed the process along. Uh, if you've got a hairdryer or a heat gun or something, but um, be very careful doing that. You can't disturb these water droplets. They have to be sitting still. Um, I mean, you might have noticed when I was airbrushing, they were fluttering a bit. Um, you don't want that. You want them to be absolutely still. Okay, all done, all dry. Uh, I think we can see that. Let's get it in the light a bit more. There you go, that. That's the effect you get. That red did work out quite well, didn't it? Um, obviously, be careful with this. Um, it's not too bad, but of course, where the paint was just sitting on the water and the water just evaporated, it, it's a little bit fragile. So try not to touch it until you've got some lacquer on there to lock it down, you know? Uh, so. I'll go do that now, I'll lacquer this, and um, I'll show you the end result in a minute. Okay, so there we go guys. Um, can't touch it because the clear is still um, a bit on the old wet side, but, uh, but there you have it. Instant bubbles. They're really cool, don't they? You see how the red clung to one side 
the white clung to the other and it basically painted the water droplets that were on there onto the surface all the water evaporated, left all the paint and you left for that effect which I really like, that red turned out well so there you go that's uh, this week's video I'll, um, I'll be back next week with another one keep those suggestions coming cheers <laughs>